in 1958, both the United States government and the USSR government of the time, both of them wanted to explode a nuclear bomb on the moon. Did you know this? Because they wanted to prove that they dominate the outer space, the way to prove it is nuclear bomb, moon. Then the US uh, strategists went back on it because one thing is they thought, suppose you shoot this bomb or launch this bomb, suppose it misses the moon and it's always possible it'll come straight back and hit some part of geography on the planet. So they kind of gave it up. The Russians gave it up, it was USSR at that time, they gave it up because they calculated, because there's no atmosphere, if you put the nuclear bomb, the amount of dust that will rise is so little and it will be so brief that you may not be able to catch it on the camera in, in an impressive manner. So they gave it up for that reason. But can you believe it, they wanted to bomb the moon, hello? There is nobody to kill. <laughs> there is nobody to kill, the terrain doesn't belong to anybody yet but they want to bomb the moon. This is a clear example of how human beings have been. The way we have been living here, aren't we the worst virus on the planet? Hello? Every day we are killing 200 million animals on the planet in the name of nourishment. Many, many millions of fish and other aquatic life over 1.2 trillion fish per year and some 72 billion other animals per year. For 7.6 billion people, do you need this much food? We don't need that much food, but we are killing because we've started an industry. Today, this many animals should be slaughtered, it doesn't matter whether you can eat that many or not. That's about it. From 1970 to 2016, Sixty-eight percent of the vertebrate population has been exterminated. Sixty-eight, yes, that's the correct number, I'm telling you. By now, it's over seventy percent. Seventy percent of the vertebrate population we have killed in fifty years. And a similar percentage of insects, worms, other bio-activity we have destroyed. If anybody else was observing, suppose the grasshoppers. The grasshoppers were ruling this planet they would think these virus we must eliminate somehow. Yes or no? Would they think or no? If any other species had done what we are doing to this planet, would we have not thought how to eliminate this species by doing whatever, poison the earth, chemically bomb them, nuclear bomb them, whatever, when we are willing to bomb the moon, just to prove that we can explode something out there and we won't take a picture. How many things you're doing to take a selfie, people are falling off the bridges, <laughs> people are getting run over by trains, hello? <laughs> to take a picture, to prove a point. All this is because a human being doesn't know how to be, he has to do. If we were other creatures, we had brains only to do what is needed for us, that would have been good. Even now, if you take away half your brain, you will be quite a safe creature. With a full brain, if you do not know how to be, then this full brain is a serious problem. When you have a full-grown brain, you must know how to be, otherwise this is a dangerous instrument. <laughs> without knowing how to be, without being conscious, uh, the consequences are terrible. It's just except us, everybody else knows, I've said this before. At some time ago in United Kingdom and Europe, mad cow disease happened. You remember this one? So two cows met in the English meadow. So one said to the other, what is your opinion about the mad cow disease? The other one said, I don't care a hoot because I am a helicopter. Well, we have forgotten we are human beings, that's the whole problem. We've forgotten we are life and our life is enmeshed with everything else. 
Sadhguru, we came for a spiritual morning, you're giving us environmental talk. No, no, I'm talking spirituality. Because spiritual process means you broke the boundaries of your physical self. Once you break the boundaries of your physical self, just everything is you. This is not environment. Right now, environment, ecological concerns are in the textbook, in a school or a university. Our sense of environment and ecological concern has to live in our hearts, not in a textbook. It will only happen if you pay attention to life.